Pentecostal Assembly. Your time has come. Please call it, please. Hello. Um, yes, my name is Robert. I want to find out more about the church. Maybe there's somebody who could help me, please. Okay. What, was, what questions do you want answered? Um, well, I, on the um, tenets of the faith, it didn't say anything about whether you believe in the Trinity or your oneness. Um, what do you believe on that? Um, it, yes, we believe in the Trinity. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. We believe that Jesus is alive and working now as he has, as he says in the Bible, um, he is as he was, mm -hmm. is and forever will be. So how would you explain the Trinity? How would you define it? Because it's not on the website. I was kind of puzzled. Um... Because everyone believes in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even the Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, they can say, we believe in the Father, and we believe in the Son, and we believe in the Holy Spirit. They are one and the same. The same what? God is... God is God. God is Jesus. God is Holy Spirit. Or Holy Spirit is God. They're all one and the same. They are the Trinity, but they all work in different ways. Okay, well, I'm still a bit puzzled, but thank you, thank you very much, sir, for explaining that. I'm very grateful. Okay. Um, uh, looking at the pastor, Pastor Alex, I, I, I'm on your victorious yeah. Pentecostal Assembly website. Um, it said that Pastor Alex came from Nigeria, is that right? That is correct. Yeah. Are you associated, associated with any Nigerian church? No. No, so this is independent? No. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, um, I was kind of puzzled by the... I'm, I'm just trying to get there now. Um, it, it said on the pastor's description that people refer to him as daddy or father. Yeah, we, uh, in church we call him as father or daddy. Um, he's our father in Christ. He's our daddy in Christ. He's your... Daddy in Christ? Yeah, we, we see him as our father in Christ, yeah? I mean, Jesus himself, when speaking to the scribes and Pharisees in Matthew 23, 9, he said, do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. Obviously, the context is a spiritual father. Christ said, yeah. Matthew 23, 8, but you do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you are all brethren. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And do not be called teacher, for one is your teacher, the Christ. It says you're not to call somebody father in a spiritual sense. Besides that, I find that calling a man who is younger than me, father or daddy, um, I mean, I find that um, asinine and um, infantile. But it's clearly contrary to scripture. Matthew 23, 9, Christ said, I am forbidden to call somebody father in a spiritual sense, sir. Okay. Um, but it's not... When, when he's outside church, yeah? Yeah. He's, he's treated different to when he's actually inside church. Because when he's in church and on the pulpit and doing services, it's the Lord working through him. No, the, Do we call? No, the Lord works through all Christians. So every Christian has a spiritual gift. Every Christian is indwelled by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Every Christian is used by God, or should be used by God. But to single out one man and call that person daddy or father in a spiritual sense is a sin. It's contrary to Jesus' own words in Matthew 23, verse 9. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And the context there is spiritual, father in a spiritual sense. It's not forbidding a young child of five or six from calling his or her father daddy. The context is we are not, to, as adults, to find another adult and call that adult daddy in a spiritual sense. It's a sin. C could you address the verse, Matthew 23, 9? Could I? 
Could you address the verse, sir, of Matthew 23, verse 9? I can, I can read it to you. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. Uh, uh. I mean, if the plain word of the Bible says something, and a man, be it a Mormon, or a Jehovah's Witness, or a Muslim, or an atheist, or a Pentecostal, or a Charismatic, or a Baptist, or an Anglican, says something different to the Word of God. What are we to follow, the Word of God, or a man? Yeah. Okay. I have one final question, then I won't take up any more of your time, sir. Um, does the church practice tithing? Yes. Could you explain why you practice tithing? Because the Lord, oh, everything that we belong to is the Lord's, and it's, um, the tithing is for the um, help pay towards the church and the staff in the church. Is there any scripture, um, any scripture you can show me where New Covenant Christians in the New Covenant are commanded to pay tithes? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm... Because obviously... Can you if hold the line for me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, you are the head yeah. office, so you should know. You're the London branch. You should, you know, it's reasonable to expect you to know Victoria's Pentecostal Assembly Doctrine. But I'll certainly hold, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hold, please. Thank yes. you. Hung up. <laughs>